first question we need to ask ourselves is what is peripheral fever? Peripheral fever, more commonly known as childhood fever, was one of the highest causes of death in women up until around the 1900s. It's caused by the contamination on the hands of physicians or doctors being transferred to women giving birth due to the lack of proper hygienic procedure. This film focuses on the three Tudor queens who died of childhood fever from 1500 to 1550. But first, some practices of the time. Most women were married around the age of 15 and had an average of 5 to 10 children. Nursemaids and midwives were responsible for all births during the time, since such womanly things were considered below male positions. That being said, many upper-class families insisted their physicians be present. Confinement, or bed rest, was another practice of the time. It lasted one to four months and was used in prominence among the Tudor queens. Henry VIII put his wives in their confinements early so he could visit his mistresses freely. Windows and doors were closed, family members were banned from visiting, and alcohol was given to decrease nerves. Elizabeth of York was the wife of Henry Tudor, better known as King Henry VII of England. Her son, Henry VIII, later inherited the throne and became famous for his six wives. She lived from 1466 to 1503, where she died giving birth to her eighth child. Jane Seymour was Henry VIII's third wife right after Catherine and Anne. She died giving birth to her only son, Edward VI, who was Henry VIII's only legitimate son. She lived from 1508 to 1537 and only had the one child in her life. Catherine Parr was Henry VIII's sixth and last wife. After Henry VIII died, she went on to marry Thomas Seymour, Jane Seymour's brother. She lived from 1512 to 1548. She died giving birth to her first and only child, Mary. But the question remains, what happened to Mary Seymour? She's never mentioned again, so she probably died at an early age.